Compensated. Logan Thompson, we fight to win. Saturday, we're on schedule to start at 10 a.m., just exactly like we've done. If something changes, we'll let you guys know and we'll let, um, you know, put it on Facebook and all that good sure, stuff. Boy. So, um, you know, worst case scenario, we might delay, but we'll just see. We're, we're going to, we're going to, we're praying that Francine Hard. gets invited to Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we why, don't why want Memphis? anybody hurt over there, no. but they can take the water and and that's and, right. You know, that's right. Yeah. Oh man. Leave us so, dry. Anyway. Well, we also so let's talk about the headliner this year. One of the great country legends of all time. Oh my uh, goodness, T. Graham Brown. I we are so excited about having T. Graham Brown. He was just invited this year to be a member of the Grand Ole Opry. So we are just Lord. we're so honored to have him coming. And let's go to the phones. We're joined by the legend himself, T. Graham Brown. Good morning, T. Graham. Boy, y'all sure do know how to make a fella feel good. Ah! <laughs> T. Graham, hey, T. Graham, my name's Steve Hartline, and uh, Tom Rowland uh, uh, played your uh, records on this station years and years ago. He then became the second longest serving mayor in state history. But I, 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 on behalf of Tom Rowland, what took him so long at the Grand Ole Opry? Well, how, how did that just happen? Well, I don't know, but I'm glad they finally got a got around to pulling the trigger. It sure feels good to be a member. That's huge. Well, listen, a, a little bit about uh, T. Graham Brown, who, by the way, has got a birthday on October 30th, it says here. Oh. Uh, he, uh, of course, has been active since 1973, recorded a total of 13 albums, charted more than 20 singles on the Billboard Hot uh, Country Charts, Three of those singles, Helen Highwater, Don't Go to Strangers, and the song he wrote for Darlene Goy <laughs> called Darlene in 1988 reached number one, and eight more made the top ten. T. Graham, we're going to be so glad to have you in uh, Charleston. Oh, man, I'm looking forward to coming, too. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my own spoon so I can uh, <laughs> be one of the judges. Oh, <laughs> Boy, Melissa, what a headliner. My oh, goodness. my goodness. We have had so much buzz about Mr. T. Graham Brown, and it's been really fun. Everybody's super excited about it. Phone calls galore. Well, <laughs> yes. We're, look, we're, looking forward, we're looking forward to putting the bus in the road and heading y'all's way, man. It's going to be fun. And, uh, T, I talked to your wife uh, a couple of days ago, and I know that you're a big fan of Black Eyed Peas. So oh. we're going to make sure that you get a taste of all those chefs' creations. Oh, I can't wait. I love I love peas. <laughs> I do. Hey, T, we're joined by T. Graham Brown, uh, country legend on the phone, now a member of the Grand Ole Opry. Hey, what keeps you going, T. Graham? Why, why do you still like to tour? Why do you still like to do it since 1973? Oh man, I'm you know I'm having more fun now than I've ever had. I think you know the the pressure's off. I'm not out there chasing a hit. I'm do I get to do what I want to do, you know? And I have a show on Sirius XM that I've been doing for six years. I enjoy doing that, and I get to be in a movie every now and then. And I, I play the Opry a lot. I, I'm just having fun, man. I don't know what else I'd do. Yeah. That's right. You know, some people would recognize uh, Mr. Brown as the voice of the Taco Bell run for the border thing. Can we get a dose of that? What? Oh, let me see. Um, 59, 59, 99, run for the border. Don't be tight. Taco Bell's done it again. That's awesome. That's pretty good. Hey, T. Graham, real fast here. How'd you get? Yep. T tell us how you got started. Man, I was going to the University of Georgia, and a buddy of mine from high school had a guitar, and we went over to the local Holiday Inn and sang a guy a few songs, and he hired us on the spot. So we had to go and learn enough songs to fill a night's worth of shows. You know, we'd do four sets a night get up and go to class in the morning. You know, we kind of sang our way through school. We used our singing money to pay our tuition. And so I started that way and just kind of progressed and progressed on. That's awesome. What a great story. 
Oh my goodness. We are just, um, we're thrilled. Well, first of all, we're thrilled to have you on the phone. I know it's central yeah. time over there. So thanks for getting up for us. Now, hang on. So, oh, so yeah, I know this is early for a, for a singer and a T Graham. Well, kind of. <laughs> hey, now, it's early for it me, depends, too. <laughs> it, depends, it depends on what time I go to bed. Well, hey, so I, I'm looking up some, some information here. So you've mentioned Taco Bell, but, but did you realize that T. Graham has sung advertising jingles for the following, McDonald's, Disneyland, Budweiser, Coors, Stroh's, Almond Joy, Coca-Cola, Sears, Dodge, Ford, Har- Hardee's. we got a big Hardee's here. Uh, Kentucky KFC, the Nashville Network uh, with Ralph Emery, uh, BC Powder, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, 7-Up, and Harrah's. And, of course, you just mentioned Taco Bell. My goodness, T. Graham. Well, I, uh, yeah, and I, there's a whole lot more that you didn't mention, but I, I used to do a whole lot of jingles back in the day. I, I, was, I was the guy. I was one of the go-to guys back then. That's amazing. Um, yeah, well, I, 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 I've sung every car and truck and beer and soft drink, candy bars. I, I did Sometimes You Feel Like a Nut, Sometimes You Don't. I did that for seven years. So oh. people have heard my – They've people have heard me on TV ads and radio ads and maybe not realized it was me. I've probably had the channel changed on me a lot. <laughs> Well, well, one thing that we've been saying, and we, we've got a really good sense of humor with this Cowpea Festival, of course, because we play on the words and all that fun stuff. And we've been telling people that, you know, now you've been invited to the Grand Ole Opry, and now you've been invited to the Cowpea Festival. You're having a big year. <laughs> yes. Yes, my life is complete. <laughs> We're joined by uh, T. Graham Brown live from Nashville on the phone. Hey, uh... Melissa, while I, I do want to talk about the event also, I know you talked about the weather situation, but, you know, let's, let's talk about the event and the weather. Yeah, so um, so Saturday, uh, September 14th, it's always the second Saturday of September. We have, uh, we're in our 12th year. Um, things kick off at 10 o'clock, and we've got live music all day long. We've got uh, how many craft vendors are we've got 70 craft vendor booths oh, this year man. more than we've ever had um we you know bush bush brothers is our sponsor and they provide um peas for all five of our chefs who uh, will be there making cow pea creations we've got uh indigo we've got little diner we've got chef uh clyde rush we've got uh food envy truck and we've got who uh, else? One more. Uh, Chef Caesar oh, yes. Thomas. Caesar. <laughs> yes. And so, um, so yeah, we, we are so excited about that. That is the Whirlpool Cowpea Cook-Off, and it will happen from 2 to 5. So if you have your uh, utensil, and your, your spatula this year, and um, you can uh, get your, your tag stamped by all of the different chef booths and then vote on your favorite one. And I think we've got, uh, I think later you're going to give mm-hmm. two, uh, two mm-hmm. spatulas away. And we've got a T-shirt, too, to go with that. So whoever gets those two spatulas and a T-shirt. And the T-shirts say Peas on Earth this year. So Ah, I don't know if you can see mine on the Facebook uh, audience. (laughs) But uh, we it might be my favorite one. They're all my favorite one every year. Um, We have uh, festival food. So all the good things that you want to eat at a festival, we've got that going on. So, you know, if, if we do have to make some adjustments, it might be that we delay. I truly believe that it's going to clear up maybe Saturday afternoon That's and what they're saying, um, yeah. you know put on a hat suck <laughs> it up buttercup <laughs> bring your own coat just in case <laughs> Darlene let's talk about what this benefits because we have a lot of fun with this and we're so glad to welcome T Graham Brown but this is a great uh, great purpose right right uh, all the proceeds from this goes to operate the Hawassi River Heritage Center that is owned by our local historical society the Charleston Calhoun Hawassi Historical Society and basically that's what we pay for all of our electric bills all of our water bills all of our repairs that need to be done keeping the lights on uh, and, and gets us by for a year so we've been we've been really blessed at, at how this festival has grown 
Um, and also, um, <clears throat> we appreciate so much our partnership with Mix 1041 because this is a nonprofit festival and you guys are always so kind to us. Um, I know that uh, you're coming out for a remote that yeah. day. Oh, yeah. uh, so we, we just, we're, we're so appreciative of the publicity that you all give us, the fun that we have with y'all. Um, you know, well, that's wonderful. Let's we, keep we, doing it for another 50. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, T Graham. I don't know if I can make that or not. <laughs> T. Graham, again, thank you so much uh, for joining us. And my goodness, looking forward to uh, to seeing you in Charleston. Oh, we're going to have a good time. I just want everybody within the sound of my voice to come on out. Don't let the rain bother you. Just come on, and we're going to have a great time. What time is his? Um, he takes the stage at 6 o'clock, and um, it's $5 at the gate. 15 oh, and under are free. We've got some amazing sponsors that help make this happen. They're on our website, calpfestival.com. You can also see the musical lineup. You can... Um, if you'll make sure that you check out our Facebook page at Cal P Festival and also yours, we'll make sure that we tell everybody, you know, keep everybody updated yeah. on what's going on. Um, a couple of sponsors I do want to mention Please. that are w some of our higher tiers. Of course, Bush Brothers Incorporated, uh, Whirlpool Corporation, and um, also uh, Valker is one of our large sponsors, and we get a big grant from Tennessee Arts Commission. So we are so grateful to the Tennessee Arts Commission. And also my employer, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, Visit Cleveland, we are one of the major sponsors. So um, yeah, we are super happy. This is a, a program that's put on by the Chamber and the Charleston Calhoun Hawassi Historical Society, which owns the Hawassi River Heritage Center. So it's so important to us. So that's why we're telling everybody, come on out, support Darling. us. Darling, anything else you want to add here before we go? Well, I just want to thank everybody that has supported us uh, for the last 12, well, 13 years, because even through COVID, we had some folks who went ahead and sent their money in and said, don't send it back. You need to keep it. Oh, so, um, you know, really 13 years, but That's 12 great. years of the festival. So just thanks to everybody. Thanks to everybody that comes out and supports us every year and has a good time. And I hope we can do that same thing again this year. Oh, come on, Darlene. You know you wanted your last word to say that you wanted T. Graham to sing Darlene well, to you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Darlene. Well, he, Darlene, sit down, I need to talk to you. Then you do what you want to do, Darlene. Oh, <laughs> Darlene. Oh, yes. Yes. You have made her life. Yes. Now. That's a number one, uh, a number one song. Yeah. T. Graham Brown, man, we're looking forward to seeing you Saturday. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to coming. Uh, it's a pleasure meeting you, sir. And, and uh, no kidding, congratulations on the Grand Ole Opry. That's got to be a, yes. a career capstone. Well, thank you, guys. Y'all are very kind. God bless y'all. God bless all y'all's listeners. And God bless the United States of America. Amen. Amen. Thank you, T. Graham. Great meeting you, sir. <laughs> Okay, bye-bye, y'all. See you. See you, buddy. The great T. Graham Brown. We're about to play Darlene, actually, in a second, but he just sang it right to you. <laughs> right. Uh, pretty good. Oh, hey, and one more thing. We're going to... Flip, uh, switch gears a little yep. bit here. Yes. Because Melissa and I, I have got my new shirt she on does have her today, shirt on. but yes, underneath it, don't get shocked, everybody. America. Yeah, we're uh, we're fine. I'm taking this shirt uh, off because I'm wearing my Holy Cow P shirt because it's purple because today is Paint Our Town Purple in uh, in honor of Liv. And uh, her daddy's my boy. Yeah, you know, he, yeah. he works with me at the chamber. Aaron's my boy. So oh, yeah. um, so got to support my boy. Yeah, and, yeah. and of course, you know, remember our sweet little uh, Olivia. I called her sassafras because she that's what made me she she just made me smile every time she came in the office so. oh man so it's a it's a big big day and and we do want to mention uh, if you're just joining us uh, this morning uh the uh the goal uh the goal game uh football game which uh walker valley and uh, bradley scheduled for tomorrow night has been moved to tonight mm -hmm. of course at uh, seven o'clock at uh, bear stadium Let's do the back to the Calpe uh, the the, the uh, website one more time. Yes, calpefestival.com. That's C O W P E A festival.com. Headline by T. Graham Brown. Here he is, number one, 19.